art is a, an expression of life and what's going on around us. In scene one, it is early 2003, and gunshots are heard in the city of Reading. Really hit close to home, you know, living living in the inner, inner city. We are not going to tolerate this no more. Residents and students are at first fearful and then are angry. That something that big would have to happen. I mean, you know, it shouldn't have been that bad. That anger spills over. For the next two weeks, a community would cry out. Walking home from school and not knowing if you're going to be stabbed or raped, you know, walking home in the dark. And But you make it home and you're like, thank God I made it home today. But the final bell had not rung on the city of Reading. One person in the middle saying that they were going to triumph over this and they throw the flags over the entire band, which symbolizes we're turning this whole thing around. The city marches on, a time to reflect and highlight the beauty and potential. People come together and they um, do good things. There's a lot of good coming out of the city, not just all the things you see on the news. You have these, the pagoda and then, and then you have like these crime scenes and then you have like, you know, block parties and, but I mean, you know, it all fits together and people wouldn't think it would. One group, 120 individuals from backgrounds as diverse as the city itself, letting others see Reading through their eyes, one performance at a time. It's not just, you know, a, just another show, just another a theme song or, you know, another parade. It's just that they really get, you know, what our lives are like in the city. These kids aren't that much different than other kids. They have the same goals, same methods, and in fact, they might even have uh, a little bit more to work for because they don't have as many things to start out with some of them. The band's message is getting out. Earlier this month they placed first in their division at a state championship and followed that up with a top 25 finish in the Atlantic Coast Championship as well. Scott Knoll, 69 News, Berks Edition.